Hey you guys, welcome back to Hidden Gems Tarot. Hope you guys are all doing well today. Welcome for all of you guys who are new. Got a lot of new people coming in every single day, so I always want to uh, welcome you guys in. Okay. So let's go ahead and jump in. So I'm already picking up on an energy. This feels like a motherly energy, mother figure, somebody's mother. It feels this is it feels this energy feels negative to me though. This feels like a feminine mother, mother figure. It could be aunts or something like that, grandmothers, but it feels more so like a mother of a feminine energy. It feels like this energy is trying to hold somebody back or actively working against somebody. This this mother energy feels very codependent also, needy. This feels like a mother that's in their um, karmic energy or some sort of distorted energy, maybe unhealed. We'll see. Spirit, please show me this energy, please. Feels like someone's mom or something. Mercury. Could be thinking a lot about your mother um, today or recently. Sixth house. Virgo energy is there. Aries, willpower. You could be, um, this feels like an energy that's kind of stepping out on their own, maybe embracing your own power, your own willpower, doing things your own way, claiming a sense of independence. I'm feeling this energy where it's like somebody self-realizing, self-realization. It also feels like some sort of, it just feels like some sort of emancipation codependency breaking free from codependency with a mother figure maybe you've communicated something like this to your mother or have some sort of talk about this recently something to do with somebody's work job be something about a full-time job also serving health Show me somebody, a mother figure, please. Mercury. This feels like Mercury. This feels like they're trying to slow somebody down. Could be trying to come in between a relationship, a connection, kindred partnership. They're thinking a lot about a connection, a relationship. Sixth house. Maybe you've been healing, working on yourself, because there's true love here. Whether this is with yourself or with somebody else. And Aries. Status quo, re quo reverse. Somebody's mother. This energy doesn't want you to discover something. Also. Okay. Let's get into this. See what this is. Mercury, kindred spirits, devastated. Something to do with the relationship or connection. Maybe they don't approve of your partner or something like that. I'm trying to make sure divine masculine or divine feminine don't find out the truth. Yeah, this is what I was just saying. They're trying to make sure you don't discover something. Kindred partnership, Mercury. You could be very self-reliant, independent. Maybe the um, parents or mother figure has an issue with that. Kindred partnership. You deserve so much better. 
Someone says they can't see you with anybody else, so they're going to become better. Sixth house, true love. Maybe you're working on a connection or something. I've been in my feelings over you. Person, Somebody could be drinking over you, secretly in love, hiding their feelings. Maybe you have to hide the relationship. Spirit says, do not worry. We are returning the negative energy of your haters back to the sender. And this is what I'm picking up on. I feel like somebody's mother is doing this to a feminine energy, though. Maybe a divine feminine. It's like they want you to be single or stay single. Something of that nature or get you apart from whoever this is. Maybe something to do with your work, too. Where you're, this Aries energy is very is the independence. Doing things your own way. Maybe you um, working on your self-esteem, confidence, or something like that. Definitely self. Somebody's definitely self-reliant. All right, and then somebody says they know one thousand percent that you are their twin flame. Show me this Aries energy. Your thoughts become your reality. Stay positive. I feel like this is a negative um, parent or something. Their mind is clouded and foggy. Maybe you're becoming more successful in life. I feel like it's triggering a mother figure. Aries, status quo. Maybe you were worried about your image or something. Or maybe this family is very... Uh, very focused on image, what other people have to say, the public has to say or something. What do you have that I don't? Status quo, Aries. Okay, we got three energies there. Okay. I'm trying to be just like you and copy everything you do. Intimidated by your glow up and your come up. Everything comes back to you. What is somebody devastated by devastated Mercury? Spiritual strength reversed. Feeling weak, feeling vulnerable. Could be some uh, fatigue, feeling tired. Feeling like giving up. Something's been going on for a while, for a long time. Could be trying to bring you down also. Devastated victory success reversed yeah they are trying to stop you from some sort of victory success could be an abusive um, authority figure or parent narcissist this energy is very selfish they're trying to hold you back or something devastated Solitude. There's that Virgo energy. And I see a feminine energy here in solitude. So this could be you, Divine Feminine. This is that self-realization, self-reflection, introspection. I'm also getting somebody's mother was trying to have them isolated too. They, can, they want you to feel lonely, isolated, depressed, something of that nature. Monotony, some type of monotonous energy uninterested in life bored lonely but I feel like instead you chose to go within to grow spend time in solitude in solitude to grow becoming enlightened this, this feminine energy here in this card has a book so somebody's reading a lot studying a lot um, maybe researching This mother figure could definitely do dark work, dark magic, dark manipulation, thinking negative thoughts, hoping to create that into your reality.
devastated please this energy spiritual strength reversed knight of swords definitely could have been a conversation or communication maybe they're still going to be for some of you guys standing up for what you believe in somebody's going to speak out or they have recently this energy is like take charge get out of my way get out of my way i got something to say i got things to do i gotta take action get out of the way five of coins yeah this energy is very insecure needy could definitely be needy codependent upon you low vibrational for sure someone's mother figure something like that a feminine it's it feels like a mother figure jealous of um another feminine energy so it could be a daughter or something like that aunts or something five of coins devastated they feel left behind they feel neglected i feel like they want you to give up on your dreams or whatever success victory is coming for you or you are in maybe you're choosing to say no um, maybe with hanging out or social events or something like that because somebody's spending time a lot of time alone in solitude or focused on themselves or their own goals or their work spiritual growth could be some type of honest conversation coming up devastated nine of wands reversed two of wands Someone's at a stalemate making a decision, making choices, maybe plans for the future. You could be thinking about where to go next, maybe communicating these plans. Show me this two of wands. Mm, page of pentacles reversed. Seven of coins reversed. I'm trying to distract you. Someone's mother definitely does um, dark work, dark magic for sure. But I feel like too, overall, this is someone, this is somebody trying to distract you for whatever new opportunities, whatever is to come into your life, whatever type of, there's some sort of action that's going to happen or some type of victory for you. Page of Pentacles reversed. Yeah, this is the end of restrictions. Maybe you were, um, could have been brainwashed or guilt tripped. A lot of guilty energy here, maybe growing up. This is freedom from that. Not allowing this energy to impose any type of limits on you. Freedom from restriction. It could be some type of mind control. I feel like you're no longer feeling guilty. You're not feeling bad. You're trying to do your own thing or focus on your own path. Because show me this five of coins for a motherly energy. Five of coins. I feel like they're they're sad. Yeah, they're sad. They're sad. They feel at a loss. Very emotional. Having emotional troubles. It could be some trouble up ahead. There's lots of resistance. They're stuck on an old mindset or old mind frame. They're expecting the worst. This feels like they have their own emotional um, troubles from the past or emotional baggage, unhealed trauma from their past. You could be thinking about, for some of you guys, could be thinking about traveling, moving away, moving um, far away at a distance. Maybe they don't want you to do this, but this is definitely freedom here. Okay, they're trying to slow somebody down. And it's not going to be successful either, by the way, with the Six of Wands reverse. It's not going to be successful. They're not going to uh, have victory over you. I feel like you're spiritually stronger than whoever this is. And I'm not I'm talking about at a spiritual level, not just 3D. 
not just physically stronger. This could be a karmic uh, mother, something like that. Victory, success, reverse. Yeah, this is definitely somebody's family. Could be unsupportive of you. Could have been causing issues in a connection with this kindred partnership. Thinking about um, causing issues. Family dramas. This is unsupportive. Creating trouble in paradise. Home wreckers, family feuds, could be trouble in a domestic situation too. Some of you guys are moving out of um, this person or people, somebody's home, moving out of this home. They're devastated about something. Yeah, they're frustrated. They're very focused on themselves, their own selfish desires, their own, um, what they want for you. This, this mother energy feels very selfish. Jealous, definitely jealous. Could be mean, mean-spirited, evil-spirited, bossy, controlling, very demanding. Definitely narcissistic energy here. They don't seem to have a regard or care about your desires or your space. The hermit. It, it's like it bothers them that you're independent. They're trying to, yeah. Yeah, they're trying to slow you down. Knight of Pentacles reversed. Eight of Wands reversed. And then the Ten of Cups is here. Eight of Cups reversed. Hanged Man reversed. Two of Cups reversed. They're stuck in their ego. They're unable, they're stuck on this old perspective. Maybe they're not changing. Maybe they, they are stuck. Cleared up confusion, self-love. This could be you meeting somebody new or starting over with somebody, but definitely self-love for sure with this Ace of Cups. Whatever they don't want you to find out or have been trying to confuse you about or brainwash you or hide, whatever illusions this is. I feel like you've already discovered this, found this out, or you're getting ready to. They don't like that you're practicing self-love. They're not going to be able to have control over you anymore. They want to slow you down from some type of goals or something with your work or business or something. It's going to be something with school, too, for some of you guys, college, something like that. Ten of Cups. Yeah, you are, you're focused on this Ten of Cups. I feel like this Ten of Cups you share with somebody else, maybe a partner, you have your own kids or something, or you planning on having kids, a family, your wishes, dreams coming true, whatever blessings or anything your heart is desiring, you're very focused on. Pisces energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Two of Cups, Reverse. Could be some miscommunications, trust issues, or not really getting along with whoever this is. Whatever feminine energy this is. They're in a really, really bad um, mood, it looks like. Or frustrated, something like that. You got abandonment issues, it looks like. Maybe fears of maturing. Fears of the unknown. Fears of loss. Looks, this looks like... They don't want you to mature also. 